Borsh. This hearty soup has a name that sounds like a Russian curse word. Borsh. 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 Borsh looks like liquid anger and gets its red color from beets. Russians like to eat their borsh with sour cream and dill. Olivia. Olivia is Russian potato salad. This dish is so popular that in most other countries, it's just called Russian salad. Judging from the name, you'd think that this is a French dish, but you'd be wrong. Olivia was invented by a Belgian and does not contain any waffles. Instead, the salad is flavored with dill pickles. Speaking of which, Salinha. My babushka used to tell me that the refrigerator is a magical box where it's winter all year round. In the centuries before magical winter boxes were invented, frequent droughts and famines forced Russian peasants to survive on vodka in congealed misery. Russians got really good at pickling their food, which preserved it for times of scarcity. Guess what's used to flavor these pickled foods? Dill. Do you notice a pattern here? There's dill in almost every signature Russian dish. If Russia had a national anthem that goes into your face rather than out of it, it would be dill. We put dill in our soups, dill in our salads, dill in our sandwiches, and dill on our dill. If there's a food we don't like, we put more dill on it. If there's a situation we don't like, we dill with it. Pirashki. <laughs> These delicious Russian pastries can be prepared with either sweet or savory fillings, then baked and fried until golden brown. Sweet piroshki are like Russian turnovers, but not as flaky. Savory piroshki are like Russian hot pockets, except the piroshki don't taste like disappointment. Ikra. I like to eat these decadent fish eggs while talking about sophisticated things like estate tax reform, neoclassical architecture, and Kim Kardashian. Then I wash the caviar down with a green smoothie made by blending $100 bills with diamonds. If you think it's weird to eat salty fish eggs, I'd like to remind you that in most Western cultures, it's perfectly acceptable to eat eggs that a chicken forced out of its feathery butthole. So deal with it. Pilmeni. These are Russian dumplings usually eaten with sour cream. Pilmeni are quite versatile with many additional uses, like attracting wild animals, Here, kitty, kitty. attracting Russian bachelors. Frozen pilmeni also has many uses like icing an injury, propelling Russian bachelors. Whatever they use, pilmeni are so good that you will eat many of them. Russia is by far the largest country in the world, but its cuisine is hard to find in the Western Hemisphere. If you're lucky enough to live near a Russian restaurant, go there and savor the flavor. But if you don't live near a Russian restaurant, you'll have to look up a recipe. Or if you're feeling really adventurous, go visit Russia. I might cover more delicious or weird Russian foods in the future, so don't forget to subscribe for more episodes explaining everything you never wanted to know about Russian culture.